Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Cincy Game Hunting. And uh, we're actually gonna do something a little fun this week. Uh, I was watching a short from my friend Caleb and he was saying that the Family Dollar has video games. So I figured I'd go check out the one that's closest to my house and see if it's true. And sure enough, found two games. Actually, they have a whole bunch of games over there, but they were not $13 a piece. At my family dollar, they were clearancing them all out for $2 a piece. So uh, I said, why not? We got a bunch of family dollars here in Cincinnati. I'm gonna make a video and see if we can hit up a bunch of them and see what we get. So uh, yeah, that's what this week's all about. A lot of family dollars. All right, so they had a little bit of everything in there. Uh, they had a DS game, a PSP game, a PS2 game, a 360 game, a couple 360 games actually, uh, a couple sports games from Xbox One, uh, and a Wii U game. So, um, guess you never know what you're gonna find at a family dollar. Uh, the two games I ended up picking up was Chess Master on the PSP. Didn't have it yet, and I know Andrew likes playing chess games, so I know my eight-year-old loves playing chess games. Go, go figure that one out. Um, but uh, yeah, pick that up for two dollars. Said price tag doesn't mean anything because the sticker says two dollars on the uh, on the display, so these are two dollars a piece. And I picked up the voice on the Wii U. Uh, going for that full Wii U set. Uh, figured grab this up. I can't remember. I think I might already had it, but if I do have it, this uh, will trade for like five or six bucks into a game store so um see which one's a better copy like if mine's like bunged up i think it might be but uh two bucks for the voice on the wii u now i forgot to show you i, I, I held them up with the beginning of the video but uh the inspiration for this video i actually went out a couple days ago to a family video or family video, family dollar that's down the street from my house and i kind of just test it out to see if it's actually happening by me and I found some games over there. I saw the picture right here of like the display and I was like, wow, everything's two dollars. Can't complain about that. And the two games that I actually picked up at that first location, which I didn't get on video, was uh, Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus on the PS4. Again, two dollars on that. And Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One. So there are some good games in intertwined in these. Obviously this store is a little bit uh, different uh a hannah montana game a disney fantasia connect game they were kind of all over the place uh there wasn't really a lot of really great games but uh, a couple games worth picking up uh said one for andrew to play around with and uh one to work for the wii u collection and even if i already have it like i said it trades in for more than i paid for it so that's what we do stop number one down let's keep going
All right, there wasn't a lot left at that Family Dollar. A um, couple of games that were decent, like Rise, Son of Rome uh, on the Xbox One was a loose game. I already have it though, and uh, the Borderlands pre-sequel already had that as well. A game I did not have though, Rock and Roll Adventures. It's like a 3D platformer where you're like this little Elvis looking character. I'd never heard of it, and I uh, figured why not? A fun little $2 excursion for a uh, 3D platforming Wii game. So uh, yeah, $2 for Rock and Roll Adventures. Alright, not a huge selection in there, and the lady at the last store actually told me that they had a ton, like, last week, and they've been picked over pretty well. So, uh, I'm probably late to the party, but, like, you know what? I don't care. I'm just trying to find games that I want to play for cheap. So, I uh, picked up one game. I actually just recently picked up a rock band guitar for the 360. So, we got ACDC Live on uh, the rock band. So, uh, the track pack for it. I love me some ACDC. So, uh, two bucks for that. That'll work. All right, we made one last stop before we crossed over the river. We stopped in uh, Dayton, Kentucky. Uh, that was the last one before I jumped back over the river. And uh, we found one game in there. Uh, a lot of it was just Kinect games in there, but we did find a 3DS game, The Legend of Korra. Um, I'm picking this up for Andrew because anytime he can get a new cheap uh, 3DS game, he's always ecstatic about it. So uh, Legend of Korra for two bucks on the 3DS.
All right, guys, it's the last stop of the day, and uh, we ended up picking up a good chunk of 3DS games in there. Uh, all of them $2 a piece again. So, uh, yeah, not going to complain about that one bit. First game we got was Angry Birds Star Wars on the 3DS. I think I already have this in the Wii U, so this is probably going to go straight to Andrew. But, uh, yeah, 2 bucks for Angry Birds Star Wars. We also grabbed Lego Lord of the Rings for $2. Once again, I think I might have this in another platform, so probably again, right to Andrew. Scribble Knots Unlimited. I know I have this on the Wii U. Uh, but this is a game that would be really fun to play on the 3DS because of the two-screen aspect. Uh, so, Scribble Knots Unlimited. And the last one was the most intriguing one. I had seen it before, but I never played it. Theater Rhythm, Theater Rhythm, Final Fantasy Curtain Call. Uh, it's a rhythm game. Like, it's like one of those, like, touch the button to, like, you know, when the music's playing or something like that. But I, it's Final Fantasy based. So I love Final Fantasy games. So why not? We'll give it a whirl. Two dollars. If it stinks, I think it's like a you know sixteen to twenty dollar game. We can trade it in and get like ten bucks in trade credit from a local game store. So yeah, four 3DS games to end it out, guys. If you have a chance, if you have a family dollar in your neighborhood, give it a try. Uh, sneak around and see if you can find some cheap games. Um, like I said, I started kind of late on this. I heard about it. Or I saw the video that Caleb put out about it. Uh, earlier in the week and I didn't have time to go out really at all so uh, I'm kind of late trying to get into it like I said a lot of the stores they've been picked over pretty well but uh, you never know some of the stores might still have some stuff I'm going to put something on Instagram and Twitter to let everybody know about it before this video airs because I'm probably not going to have this airing probably for another week or so but I want to let you guys know about it ahead of time so if you have a chance sneak out to your local family dollar you might find some cheap deals and until next time keep hunting